So I'm going to deal with the two questions at the end of the day. The first is the, whether the exclusion of Christianity or the exclusion of the belief within Christianity necessarily occur by the very existence of the notion of the white Jesus or not. Secondly, whether or not the white Jesus or the notion of white Jesus necessarily benefit the people's belief to obtain the subscription of the Christianity's Christian beliefs. So the first, what exclusion? The main contention from that side of the house is to say exclusion occur to other kind of other other population, a Christian population, like such as black, uh, like or uh, Asian, so on and so forth. Because one official dominant images necessarily claim that you can't necessarily have the alternative <coughs> option to be subscribed to. The very the very response we have to uh, have to emphasize and, and the first response is the very existence of alternative conception of Jesus had existed the fact that it not necessarily undermining the other Christian population to necessarily have an other conception of the religious beliefs. I think firstly, we have pointed out that we have perhaps able to have the conception of ori Orientalist like Jesus and have a black Jesus, like um, like the um, other Jewish Jesus, um, like Jewish Jesus, so on and so on, Jewish Jesus, so on and so forth. And we think that's um, beneficial with that Protestant notion of white Jesus. Why? Because people have combated to destroy the images, but in comparison by having the, 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 it is the factual the notion of white Jesus was antithetical with my other perception of Jesus and how the, the very existence of making a comparison with white Jesus and like Asian Jesus and make people subscribe into Asian Jesus and how it, and that is when Mr. Speaker people strongly subscribe into the another conception or own conception of religion of Jesus and that's extremely beneficial in, in, in comparison to that side because they lose a necessary comparative in, in this paradigm of opposition in today's day we, they're undermining our, people's ability to have and create uh, their own conception of Jesus because in comparison to the notion of why Jesus we think that religious strength and the creation of new identity is um, effective only so far as people break the current the previous norms in this situation, Mr. Speaker, right? And that's why, Mr. Speaker, the kind of exclusion not necessarily, not, not necessarily makes sense. And also issue of the um, Prime Minister, you know what, a third world nation, you know, missionary activity is not, is not necessarily uh, um, like not necessarily, and, and the, my content was had ex an exclusive um, it successfully destroyed the analysis from Yuki. And to say, you know, the missionary activity is not that effective, Mr. Speaker. It was effective, for example, in Japan, Mr. Speaker, right? The Japanese people had created their own conception of Jesus. At the first, like, the initial attachment with the, from, the, from the perspective of Japanese people to the Jesus was white Jesus. Uh, however, after, after the long time that spent into with the interaction of what Christ quite no, the notion of like no thank you the white Jesus, they had already established their own conception of Jesus. Uh, the first place. And second of all, they argue, look, in terms of exclusion, racist remarks whatsoever. We think racist remarks is going to exacerbate it on, the, on their side of the house with a precise analysis from Fumi and myself. No, thank you. Because the conception of Fumi was never dealt by that side of the house. To, um, to repeat, Mr. Speaker, there are, we think people on their paradigm would think other races, the very existence of other races that violated the image in which my, for example, my ancestor had already had in the in court belief. No, no, thank you. And also, I know, and there, because the people down the line, for especially the white people, white Christianity believers, was going to, it's going to be, um, to be angry at the very existence of other and the concept and like the, the very, um, the very the denial of the white images or white, um, on the denial of white Jesus whatsoever. And we think that kind of processes will necessarily make moderate people into radical because their policy is necessarily undermining the belief in which people had already had, Mr. Speaker, by removing the kind of traditional norm. We, we think in that respect, Mr. Speaker, racist remarks is more likely to be exacerbated on their side of the house and thereby there's, um, there's a huge problem solution. Ms. Matt, for me with the second point of how, how and why notion, notion of white was benefit people's religious belief. Yep. You said that the people combated to destroy the notion in order to break the norms, and you said it in a way to celebrate it. Aren't you also opposing the notion then? Hmm? What? So you said that the people have combated to destroy the notion in, in order to break the norms, therefore you said you have Asian Jesus and so on yeah. and so forth, and you celebrate that. 
does yeah. not does it not also the person version of what Jesus in the first place? Like no, because that we have to be very very clear. That the very existence of the co comparison necessarily leads to the strengthen of the uh, strength uh, the strengthen of um the strengthen of the uh, new identity you know people have subscribed into Mr. Speaker, right? The very of the um, the very existence of the white Jesus, the notion of white Jesus was necessary for people to have a new conception in comparison to white Jesus. That's a comparison. So first, second, on the issue of no thank you, notion of white God benefits people's religious belief. This speaker, the exclusive harm in regard to this motion, given the fact that exclusion is not that unique <coughs> to their part on that side of the house, is the ways in which people, the white, especially the white people, inculcating and in preserving their religious belief. Mr. Speaker, the religious belief for white men is necessarily going to be undermined <coughs> by taking the policy, Mr. Speaker, because the, after taking the policy, there's a, there's a vacuum of images in terms of, like, for people, the white people to subscribe into. As Fumi told you, was never responded, but as we, uh, Yuki told us, you know, appearance don't matter. I think really, uh, uh, appearance really matter in terms of really people subscribing into some particular God. Because assimilation and sympathy to God is to, to who? To my moral code is delegated for my entire life. Like, so the likeness for the individual to opt in to the religion is going to be extremely important when having people, from the perspective of white people, of white men, to subscribe to Catholicism, it's necessary for those people, uh, the, the, the white notion applying to the white people, white men, it's necessary for people to strengthen and form a community in which the religious, the very the religious community offer an emotional security for those individuals down the line, Mr. Speaker. The exclusive harm was on this, Mr. Speaker. The very the, the exclusive harm was very the uh, erased or evacuated from in the, the current images in its white people had already had in the past generation. Mr. Speaker, what we have to do from the opposition bench is that we have, it's necessary for us to have a diverted form of conception of belief and of conception of Jesus. And within the very existence of the you know, um, white Jews had come from, um, had, had, had made better for people to have a different conception of the God and the exclusive path for the white man. And we, have, we think those people have a right to believe and subscribe into that God, and that is why we're extreme public.